Welcome to freeauctiondesigns.com how-to video on how to create a listing using our Easy Creator. First, make sure you're logged into your account. If you don't have your own account, go ahead and register with us today. It's free. Now that you're logged into your account, find the template design that you want to use for your listing. Once you find that template design that you want to use, go ahead and click Create. This is going to preview the design for you and allow you to edit it. Now, you should see a header image, add title, images, description, shipping information, payment information, and footer image. Now, be aware that some templates do not have a header and a footer. So if you want to add another content box, go ahead and click Widget. Select Content Widget. This is really great for people who want to add the About Me or Contact Information sections on their listing. Now with this content box, you can also drag it to resize it, make it larger or smaller. And you can also move the content box anywhere in the listing, forward or downward. And then if you wanted to get rid of it, you can also just go ahead and click this red X. That'll get rid of that content box. Your listing is going to need a title. Go up to Add Title. In any of these content boxes, you can change the format of the font styling, you can change the size of the text, you can make it bold, italicized, and even change the color of the text as well. Once you do that, you're probably going to want to go ahead and add some images to your listing. Go ahead and click on the camera icon here. This folder that sh pops up is showing all the previously used images. If you want to go ahead and upload a new image, go ahead and click here upload files that'll show this image in this folder and then go ahead and select whatever images you want to use if you clicked on one that you don't want to use go ahead and click the red X again when you're ready to submit these go ahead and click the plus sign it's going to add them to the images section notice how the style of the images are shown up you can have them like this straight down you can have them to the right down below and you can also have them to the left. You can also arrange any of these pictures in any way that you want and you can also change the corners of the images. You can have round edges or straight edges. You can have border or no border and you can also change the thickness and the color of the border as well. And with that you can also change the shadow thickness as well. Now after that, you're going to want to enter some description information for your listing. What's nice about this content box is that you can put anything in here and you can save it for later. It's really convenient when you want to add this information to multiple listings on uh, the same template. So all the content here can be saved by clicking Save Contents. It's going to save for you. And then once it saves to load that information in there, you go ahead and click the load button and click on the file. And you see here that it loaded in there. So it's very fast and very easy. What's nice, like I said, is convenient if you have multiple listings. You can also do image hosting here. This is great for people with photo bucket. And you can also add any flash content here as well which is nice and you can those are for the people that use YouTube videos and once your listing looks the way you want it and set up the way you want it you can go ahead and preview this listing go ahead and click preview this is going to show the listing exactly how it is now you see your pictures and how everything's set up you can go ahead and scroll over top of them they'll show each picture if you click on a picture it's going to take you to another gallery page where you can see the images a little bit larger and you can scroll through them as well. Once you've done the preview and you like your listing, you can go ahead and save the template. If you want to come back to it later, you can always load the content. And then if you want to reset everything that we just did, then you go ahead and click reset. And that's going to reset everything. Most importantly, if you want to generate HTML code for this listing, go ahead and just click Generate HTML Code. This is the code that you're going to be putting into the eBay listing or other listing services. Go ahead and single click. It's going to highlight everything. Right click, copy. 
go ahead to your on your eBay listing. Make sure you are in the HTML and paste. And you can also preview this here as well. And it'll look just like it did before, as you can see. So with that said, uh, good luck. I hope that your listings do well. And remember that at freeauctiondesigns.com, better looking listings sell first.